Hi beautiful, welcome back to another Gemelita video. Today I'm going to be focusing on encapsulating glitter on a full nail and this basically means just I'm going to be applying glitter to the entire nail and then we're going to go ahead and cap it with clear acrylic, okay? So it's going to be embedded in the acrylic so I wanted to do a step-by-step. -step. As you guys know, I did have a sculpted set on so I cut them down filed them down and so now i'm basically starting from scratch so i push the cuticle back and then now i'm going in with a 180 grit i'm just refining my nail tip and then i'm going around the cuticle making sure all the dead skin is off and also removing the shine from the nail now keep in keep in rhyme okay i'll be all right keep in mind that there's still a thin layer of acrylic on my natural nail um so that's why you see that i'm trying to like eliminate the shine and kind of roughen it up so that the acrylic to, could adhere properly to it but in the event if your full nail was just your natural nail you want to be a little bit more gentle but i am still using the 180 grit side so that is the softer side so yes please don't come for me because you know i love you it's all love it's all love here we're just trying here. We're learning. We're practicing. That's all it is. We all can use some learning. Nobody's perfect, okay? Nobody's perfect. We need to calm down, relax. It's all good. It's fine. So now I'm going to dust away all of the dust and debris, and now I'm going to go in with my not polished tips, which are my current favorite. And I'm going to go in, and we're going to measure each finger and make sure your tips are sidewall or fit sidewall to sidewall because you know you don't want your tip to be too small so you will see that i go through and check and yes so i don't know if you guys know and if you're new please subscribe and join my little family first and then second i am allergic to nail glue okay so i try to avoid uh touching it at all costs and also avoid putting it on my nails so i'm doing this little hack i am using base gel base like a base that you would use for gel polish to adhere it and I just want you to watch and see what I do to apply tips this is the first time I'm doing it on my channel so I want to show you because you know I needed to find a way to be able to use tips because sculpting nails I love them I think they're gorgeous but they can be time consuming so I wanted to go ahead and try um using tips and so this is my way so in the event you also have allergies to glue then this is for you and hopefully it helps you in some way so i've had this uv lamp off to the side and i don't really use it much but i feel like for this particular um situation since it has that arch and it's more open i can kind of lean it and then i can use both hands to hold the tip and then cure the gel base so I apply the base to the nail tip and then I go in and put it on the nail and then I just lean it in and then once I feel like it's curing you can kind of feel it it has like a little bit of a tightening effect um I let it go and then I finish curing I leave it there for about 30 seconds and since the first like four seconds um it's not really under the light fully then i just go in again and i leave it in there for a little bit more but yeah this has been this was extremely helpful and um i'm probably going to be doing it this way unless i'm in the mood for a sculpted set then yes but i've always loved sculpted sets they're so stunning and um they just feel what i notice is they feel very sturdy especially with um, longer nails they just feel so sturdy um, but these tips are gorgeous and I wanted to I wanted to use them so yeah
as you guys saw, I went through and I measured all the nails, making sure that they were even, and then I cut them. Now we're going to go in with a, um, I think this is a medium sanding band, find a medium sanding band, and then I'm just making sure the speed is right on my e-file, and then I'm going to go in and you'll be able to tell that I am filing right where the tip meets the natural nail you don't want to go above that because you will damage your natural nail but um yeah i do have some a very thin layer of clear acrylic again so i am trying to be careful but i want to show you that you should um go right across the top of the tip and blend it in nicely you don't need to be rough or anything just nice and gentle and yes i will let you watch i'll come right back As you guys saw i was setting up i swiped away all the dust and then i went in with some isopropyl alcohol and cleansed now i'm going in with this gorgeous royal blue glitter mix by mvp acrylics and glitters she is mvp nail design on instagram so if you're interested i will leave the information down in the description box oh my god you guys this blue is beautiful my husband loves it i'm using jc beauty's dehydrator and extra bonder and also their clear acrylic i have a, a um, coupon code it's jammy 15 if you are interested so i'm gonna go in the first thing i'm going to do is go in with a clear base and you will see you could do the full nail but since they're tips and i'm going to be um probably cutting them off to do a new set once these grow out um i'm just going and you'll see I'm just going to let you watch, but we're going in with a clear base first, and I'm going to let you watch carefully. And remember, when you're applying the acrylic, always angle your finger downwards, and then brush the acrylic down. Put the brush behind the acrylic and brush it, I should say, forward so that you have more control of the acrylic, okay? <laughs>
All right, now that we have completed our acrylic base, we're gonna go in and we're going to kind of like brush a tiny bit just to wet the nail. And then we're going to use that same liquid and touch on to the acrylic. And then when you're doing a full nail, you wanna go up as high as possible and make it as thin as possible closest to the cuticle. So this way, when you do go to file, you're not filing away all of the glitter. So yes, that's just one of my tips. Oh, I did forget to mention that the purpose behind laying a clear base is so that there's a barrier between the natural nail and the glitter. Just because you, if you go to lay the glitter on your natural nail, I mean, it can be done. There's going to be uh, gaps in everything and it's just, it's not going to be good. You can... There can be air in it and um, air under it and all that. And most importantly is when you do go to file it or if you want to change the design, you want to be able to file away the glitter and and still have that um, that clear base. So very important to have that clear base below it. So now um, I'm going in all of the spaces that I find could use like a little bit... Um, more coverage what was that <laughs> excuse me um the spaces that need a little more co coverage and then can i talk <sighs> i can't talk uh <laughs> i'm just gonna leave this in here i'm going with the flow so once that is done and you go in the spaces and fill them in then we're gonna go in and we're going to cap like once you're happy with everything but look how pretty I had to do a little little model sesh there. But um, now we're going to go in and when you're going to cap glitter or anything really, you want to work with beads that are more wet. They need to be wetter beads. Am I saying that right? Yes. You, know, you need to work with wet beads so that everything can kind of fall in the little nooks and crannies. Um, yeah, you want it to cover nicely and you also want to be able to work with it better so you see how i'm still going in and tapping away making sure everything is even so i'm going in at the cuticle making sure i'm covering everything and then i'm swiping forward and if i see anything is uneven i try to go in and patch it up but remember don't be too hard on yourself. You will go in and file at the end and you can perfect your shape then, okay? It is not that serious. It's not that serious, I promise. You can go in and and file it. All right, so really quick, let's just take a moment while I'm fi finishing this nail up. <laughs> um, if you do this for a living and it's your, say your business, your livelihood, or you just do it for fun because you like to do nails, Let's remind ourselves to just keep this really um, fun and light, you know, because if we if we don't, we get stressed about it and people get discouraged. And I feel like most people that um, start to do nails, you don't think, OK, nails is, is a um, lucrative business and you can make a lot of money and all this. Yes, that's part of it. But it's because you love nails and you have a passion for it. And most people, you know start with a passion for doing nails or the beauty industry so just keep it really light and fun no matter the reason you're doing it so that you can be happy and continue to love what you do so that is tip of the day from Gemalita. Once you are happy with filling everything in, I think I still go in and um, try to get some spots, but look how pretty. 
So you go in and I give you a side profile so that you can see that you still want to try to keep it as thin as possible so that you can encapsulate with the clear. Yeah, see, and I go in and I'm trying to fill in the corners. But yeah, I, you guys let me know what you think about... I love the full glitter nail. Um, I am a glitter girl. I just love glitter. I have to have glitter in my life. And... um but the difference between do you like the glitter from my um, right hand? Like, do you like it like that, or do you like the full glitter nail? Let me know in the um, in the comments. Let me know which which side you liked more. Let's just let's just do that. But I do want to go ahead and um, give some shout outs to some of the first comments um, on my last video, and I also chose chose some at random. So I want to start with. Um, with Jayla Jabri, um, Alicia Garcia, Service245, uh, Felicia R, Jay Finn, Claudia Gonzalez, um, Olivia Mendez, Paula James, Princess XX, Amina, um, Alexandra White, Janisha Hariel, I think I said that right. I know you said that I had said it right, um, but I can't remember what, how I said it that time, so I'm so sorry. So it's Harriel. Let's see if I, I get it right this time. Um, ABZ uh, Beauty Studio. Did I say that already? I don't know. ABZ Beauty Studio. And I think that's all I have for now. But you guys, thank you so much. I'll uh, never get tired of saying this. I appreciate you guys' support so much. So, yes, thank you for watching and always being here and showing support. So I'm going in again, and you will see it's just a pattern. I go in at the top first, make sure everything is nice and filled in, and then I work my way down, and then you want to use um, wet beads to encapsulate. So I will allow you guys to watch, and then I'll come in later on. Did I mention that um, applying glitter and making sure everything is filled in and everything's good to go requires a lot of patience, maybe? I don't know. What do you think? You tell me. <laughs>
if you are still here watching, thank you. I hope that watching the repetitive steps is helpful for you. Um, I think it is for me if you watch something over and over again and if you do something over and over again, you just get you can only get better at it basically. So now I'm gonna go in with the straight edge file. I always do this right after I apply the acrylic the acrylic so that I can um, you know sharpen my edges, get them nice and straight and then I will go in with my e file. I have the five and one bit by nailed by John. And then I remove the bulk of the acrylic and then I go in and basically smooth it out with a nail file 180 grit. And then to further perfect it, I will go in and um, buff it. So I just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and then I can apply uh, my gel. So let's go through those steps. And yeah, I don't like to make the videos too long. Um, I'm trying to be fair. So if you guys want to just help me out and let me know what, um, well, I guess everyone will have a different opinion. But just to get a, a better idea of the majority and I will adjust in, um, I will adjust what I do in my future videos. Or maybe I'll do one video with all the steps and then one video kind of skipping through to make it fair. But yeah, let me know. Help me out. <laughs>
that is it look how beautiful they turned out i love the full glitter side this side is my favorite yes and this blue is stunning so let me know which one you guys like the best what side my right hand or my left hand so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and join my Lita family here on youtube and i will leave you with these clips from outside bye <laughs>